Squish it on sight. That's what experts want you to do with spotted lanternflies. They have definitely arrived here in the Pittsburgh area. And this week, officials with the Department of Agriculture started canvassing local businesses in Allegheny, Westmoreland, and Beaver counties, all to make sure they're doing their part to slow the spread of this invasive species of insects. And joining us now on Zoom is Tom Butzler with the Penn State Extension office, office. And Tom, your office does quite a bit of work tracking these little buggers. Can you tell us why they are so destructive? Yeah, there's a couple reasons that they're a problem. Uh, for agriculture, they can kill some crops and specifically uh, vineyards or uh, grapevines. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're very worried about the impact on you know those folks who have vineyards or growing grapes for the juice market up around uh, the Lake Erie region. But more importantly, um, it's a nuisance for the majority of homeowners in these areas. They feed on these plants and they excrete or get wit rid of their waste and everything underneath gets sticky, gets messy. Mm -hmm. And that's really a problem for a lot of homeowners. How do people identify them? Yeah, well, there, there's not a lot of lookalikes look out there. Um, the immatures, which we shouldn't see right now, are black uh, with um, uh, white dots on them, and then they'll turn red with uh, dots on them. But okay. the adults are really uh, colorful. They almost look like butterflies. They are not true um, uh, butterflies or moths. Uh, but you've got the, the, the four wings that are kind of gray with black dots. And then underneath that, you have the other pair of wings that are more colorful with uh, shades of red and white. So very easy to uh, distinguish. Not much out there that looks um, um, alike. So you see them and you, you squish, like we're told, you squish the bugs. I know some people don't like to do that. You squish them. Do you have to alert anyone to say you found a large concentration? No, for um, it, it, if you're outside the quarantine zone area, um, then you do need to alert the authorities. But some of the counties in western Pennsylvania, such as Allegheny, Beaver, uh, I think Westmoreland, um, they've already been found in those areas. And so uh, those at this point don't need to uh, uh, be reported. Now, if you're outside that area, yes, there is a system to, to report that uh, through okay. the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture or Penn State has a site also. So say you're down in Washington County watching tonight, they haven't been reported there yet, you can call. But if you're here in Allegheny, you don't have to report it to anyone. Yeah, they've already, it's that, that whole area has been what we call quarantine. So for those businesses in the area, um, they're, they're, they, they should have a permit um, as they're going out into these areas where the spotted lantern fly has not been detected. And so that permit, um, you go through a training just so that you can identify some of the different stages of life cycles uh, that you had seen on the screen earlier and then understand some of the control measures so that you can really limit the spread of this insect throughout the state. And that's just for the business owners that are in the areas that are in quarantine? Yes, that's correct. So that would be just, for example, a landscape company. They okay. Maybe they're based in Allegheny County, and if they're going up, um, up 79 to some of those northern counties, uh, they should have a permit uh, to show that they, they understand the basics, uh, that they know they have to walk around their vehicle, look for the different life stages, not just the immatures or the adults, but also the egg masses. So they understand the whole concept and try to, to, to slow this spread down until mm -hmm. science can catch up. Okay, so if you're a regular person, shall we say, your job is to squish them, but if you are a business in one of these counties in our area under quarantine, just call and get that permit. That's correct. All right, well, thank you so much for your time tonight and for sharing all of this knowledge, Tom. We appreciate it. Sure thing.